Michael. No, no, I'm glad you called. I'm glad you called. Well, we're just having dinner, but uh, I want to get this resolved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I understand that. Yeah. No, you're right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I want Lynn at the meeting. She's got to be there. She's done a lot of the research. Okay. I'll grab an early flight and a uh, cab downtown. Goodbye. So, how long are you with us this time? Off again tomorrow, I'm afraid. Oh, right, sure. Look, I'm sorry. You know that travel's part of the job. Part of the job. A father and husband who's never home. Can I be excused? But, Kathleen, you've hardly eaten a thing. Dad, I'm full. And I've got to work on my project for the science fair. She's so skinny. Are you feeding her? Oh, so you're blaming me again? Well, you she's your daughter, too. Why aren't you here a little oh, more? Why can't we do this together? Why yeah, can't we right. do it together? I agree. Right. You know, who do you think, who, where do you think the burden is on you? You sit here and drink your scotch all day. I'm not trying to make a living. What you, that's not fair. That's oh, not fair. So fat. Wake up in the morning feeling shiny. some exercise. Oh, good for you. Um, Miss Avery, I know the resource center isn't supposed to open for 10 minutes, but the science fair is tomorrow, and I really want to do well. Come on, I'll open it up for you. All students are reminded that today's classes have been canceled to allow everyone extra time to prepare their See, projects for this year's Degrassi Hi, Science Sweetie. Fair. Really it is not, to... I repeat, yeah. not oh, an excuse for undue socializing. Thank you. Hi, Alexa. Simon, tell me the truth. Am I too fat? Uh, no. Are you sure? I feel fat. Look at the girls in here. They're all so skinny. Well, like, you look okay to me. I don't know. Wouldn't I look better if I lost five pounds? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? You think I'm fat? No, I mean, I was just... How can you say such a thing? I didn't think I did. A week. Give me a week. I'll lose five pounds. You'll see. Uh, okay. <laughs> What boy are you writing about now? It's not about a boy. Is it about me? No. Why would I write about you? And it's none of your business. Have you finished the chart yet? No, not yet. Well, get to work. The fair's tomorrow. Kathleen, relax. It'll get done on time. It has to be perfect. I want to win. Simon says I'm fat. Alexa, you're not fat. I am. I'm going on a crash diet. I'm going to lose five pounds in a week. You do not need to diet. And be careful. Crash diets are very unhealthy. Here we go again. Well, it's true. A project for the science fair is on eating disorders? Heather's become obsessed. I have not. Anorexia is serious. It affects 5% of all women and young girls. My sister, the talking pamphlet. Anorexia. I'd love to have a little anorexia. Just for a week. Alexa, anorexia is a disease. It can kill you. Really? There. 
Kathleen, I'm done. What do you think? Good, it's almost lunchtime. I'm starving. Do you want to go get something to eat? I'm not hungry. How come you never eat? Because I've got willpower, okay? Jealous? No. There's a spelling mistake. Incinerators, it's with a C, not an S. Oh, well, I've got white out. No, it's too messy. No, it isn't. No one will notice. Besides, what do you want me to do? Start all over? Yeah. Kathleen, that took me hours. You just ruined it. I told you, it has to be perfect. Where are you going? To have lunch. I know her mom's an alcoholic, but it's still no excuse. She is so mean. Don't even try to understand her. This is Kathleen, the wicked witch of Degrassi. <laughs> says here, if you stop drinking liquids, you can lose up to five pounds, just like that. Except that it doesn't stay off and it's really bad for you. You're supposed to drink six glasses of water a day. Heather, will you stop sounding like a documentary? Alexa, why don't you just exercise? Exercise? I hate exercise. This sweat's so ugly. Hey, Luz, you want to have lunch with us? Uh, no thanks. I already had a sandwich. Anyway, Clutch is coming over. See, she's always making excuses for not eating. Heather, she's already eaten. That's what she says, but how do we know it's true? And the rescheduling of this staff meeting until tomorrow should allow all teachers sufficient... You can take your projects down to the gym now, or you can leave them here overnight and do it in the morning. Bartholomew, have you noticed what I've noticed? What? Jill got the healthy food, and she got fat. Jack got the junk food, and he's still thin. Mmm. This could make an impressive argument for my mother. You know we'd be done by now if you hadn't ruined my chart. Melanie, I told you, it wasn't good enough. Kathleen, have you finished typing that report for the student council yet? No, sorry. Um, but I'll have it for you tomorrow. Look, if you're too busy, I'd be happy to do it. No, I can do it. Okay, but remember, we do need it the day after tomorrow. So, do you want to go to your house for a change? Don't worry about the chart. I'll do it myself. No way. It's my project, too. OK, we'll go to your house. No, we won't. We've gone there every day for the last two weeks. Besides, my mom's having company tonight. So? So, she has to get the place clean. There's nowhere for us to work. OK, we'll go to my house. But my mom isn't feeling well. A week! Give me a week, I'll lose the weight. I don't understand why you're doing this. Simon, you're the one who told me I was a fat lump. I did? <laughs> hey, Liz, do you want to come for fries? I'd love to, but we're going on a family outing. My parents have decided to be interested in me this week. Sorry. Bye. Okay. Bye. See, she has things in her life that she can't control, like her family. So she tries to control her body. It's a classic case of anorexia. Knock, knock. I've brought you girls some cookies. They're Kathleen's favorite. Mom, please. I've heard a lot about you, Melanie. You're Kathleen's best friend. You should bring your friends home more often, dear. Mom, we have a lot to do. Oh, Kathleen, work isn't everything. You should have some fun, too. Work, work, work. That's all she ever does. Just like her father. Mom, we have a deadline. Why don't you let me help you? I used to be good in science. We don't need help. Fine. I can take a hint. What are you staring at? Nothing. I told you, you 
should have eaten lunch. Alexa, those are totally bad for you. Well, listen to this. No dieting, no exercise, lose pounds in days. Those are a scam and they don't work. There, she's eating. So? So it proves she's not anorexic. 50% of anorexics are bulimic, too. She's probably both. Bulimic? Oh, yeah, it's bulimia. You binge, then you barf. You mean you get to eat all you want and never get fat? That sounds okay to me. Except it doesn't work. You totally ruin your stomach, your throat, your teeth, because of all the acids throwing up causes. It's really disgusting, Alexa. And I look forward to addressing all staff members at today's meeting. Her diary is just a list of what she's eaten. She's hardly anything. She must be starving. Well, at least that explains why she's so bitchy all the time. Yeah, but it's been going on for months. Maybe you should talk to her. Yeah, right, and tell her I looked in her diary. Right. Well, bye. Hi. How are you feeling? Fine. I finished the project. Um, listen, if you ever want to talk about anything. Like what? I don't know, you know, anything. Well, thank you, Dr. Melanie. What are those? Never mind. Laxatives? But you haven't eaten anything. What are you doing with laxatives? What do you think? No doubt about it. Jill is definitely fatter than Jack. You do. Can you believe some people eat all this junk at once? No, I puke at least 11 times a day. You should look around. There are some really great projects. I'm sure, but ours is the best. It's almost lunchtime. Do you want to get something to eat? I'm not hungry. Remember how hungry you were last night when you skipped lunch? I don't want to eat, okay? You should go look at Heather and Erica's project. It's on eating disorders. Fascinating. That sure looks good. Alexa, if your diet's gonna make you unhappy, maybe it's not worth it. No! I've got to lose weight, or I'm going to lose Simon. Losing weight for a guy? That's pretty dumb. But you've been dieting, too. Not really. I just want to maintain for dance. You see, that's how rumors get started. Maybe if all he cares about is appearances, then he's not worth going out with. 
See you guys inside. Judging is about yeah. to begin in the gymnasium. Time for all yeah. scientists to stand by their projects. Well, let's see if the mic works. One, two, three. <laughs> Sorry. It's Neil. This is this is <laughs> I think so. <laughs> this is, no, this one's Neil. Okay. He's pulling apart. Stupid. <laughs> we also used part of my old um, radio system and Arthur's homemade keyboard. And this is our robot kit, which we made out of some old toys and computer parts. The rate at which a substance dissolves and the solubility of that substance is affected by a variety of factors. For instance, we discovered that stirring a solution increased the rate at which a solute dissolved in a solvent. It's very nice. Thank you. The government has to put tighter controls in the pollution that factories emit. That's right. There's also the problem. Most factories only think of short-term gains, but we have to think in the long run if we hope to save our planet. Also, there also have to be agreements between countries to stop the problem of acid rain. Very good. Uh, well done, girls. Thank you. I think we did great. We? I'm sure we're gonna win. I forgot to tell him about the ozone. That's what I was trying to tell him. Funny. I wonder why I didn't. But what am I gonna do? I have to win. Kathleen, relax. It's not too late. I can still tell him. There's still time. Mr. Radich. Mr. Radich. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. It's about the ozone layer. Um, by the year 2080, there's going to be several major holes in the outer surface layer of the ozone, and this is going to cause a major impact. Should that work? <gasps> Look at it, it bubbles up. Jack got the junk food, and he's still thin. Jill got the healthy food, and she got fat. We think we're onto something big here. Junk food has clearly been underrated. I don't think it's the food that's making Jill fat. What else could it be? Well, Jack is a boy, and Jill's a girl. We know that. And Jill's been getting bigger. Is she pregnant? Yes. <laughs> I suggest you put off the experiment until after the babies are born. I knew it was too good to be true. We're just about to announce the results. Did you look at Heather and Erica's project? I'm not interested in anyone else's project, Melanie. Kathleen, why haven't you been eating? What? You haven't been eating. I'm on a diet, OK? No, you're not. You're starving yourself. You haven't eaten in days. Melanie, what are you talking about? I read your diary. You looked in my private diary? I know I shouldn't have. I can't believe you did that. Kathleen, you have a problem. Wrong. You have the problem. Reading my private stuff? How could you? I hate you. I can't believe we were ever friends. Kathleen, mind your own business. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, could I have your attention, please? The, uh, the judging has been completed, and uh, the totals have been tabulated. We have our results. Third prize this year at the Degrassi Junior High Science Fair goes to Arthur Kobolowski and Yik Yu for their robot project. Second prize goes to Vicki Friedland and Vivian Wong for their project on Aqueous Solutions. And first prize goes to Heather and Erica Farrell for their project on eating disorders. Honorable mentions also go to Kathleen Mead and to Melanie Brody for their project on urban pollution.
Kathleen, wait! Leave me alone. Kathleen, it's my fault. I should have told him about the ozone. No, Kathleen, we got an honorable mention. We should have won. We wanted to win. But we did our very best, Kathleen. That's not enough. You don't understand. I try so hard. I try to make them proud. I want them to be proud. We should have won. I wanted to win. They <laughs> could have been so proud. I would have made them so... Kathleen! What's wrong? She's fainted. Kathleen! Kathleen. Hello. What's happened? She hasn't been eating. Kathleen. Kathleen, Kathleen come on. Hello. Wake up. Alexa? Simon, I just want to say I'm not going to lose weight for you. I like me the way I am. I like me the way... I mean, I like you the way you are, too. Then why did you say I was fat? I didn't. I don't think I did. Simon, make up your mind. Can we go out again? As long as you accept me for me. Sure. Thank goodness. Can I walk you home tonight? Yeah, I'd love that. And this month's staff meeting is in I feel just postponed. fine today. Listen to me. I want you to go see the nurse. Miss Avery, I'm fine, honest. It was just nerves or something. Kathleen, I must insist. And she's expecting you. Today. Traitor! What did you go and tell her for? I was scared. You're just jealous because I have willpower and I can stay on a diet. Leave me alone. Kathleen, I'm sorry I looked in your diary, but you have got a problem. I do not. Yes, you do. You need help. I don't need help. And I don't have a problem. <laughs>